Welcome back to my channel. I am Scorpio Simmer. Before I start this review, I have to start off with some sad news. And this week we lost three ladies, Vanity, Big Ange, and Harper Lee. Vanity was um, a pop star. She was the lead singer of the 80s girl group. Um, she died at the age of 57. Um, we lost Big Ange. She was on the show, Mob Wives. She passed, um, first Vanity, she passed away the day after Valentine's Day, February 15th, 2016. Big Anch passed away yesterday, February 18th, 2016, Thursday morning, and she lost her battle to cancer. When I first heard, I was shocked. She was a bubbly person and a big personality and known to many as a peacemaker to this, on the show. It's going to be really hard to do these reviews and um just really hard my um she came on to on the show at season two um she only got into one fight on the show with renee and um she 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 isn't into the drama at all she's always trying to keep the peace and all that and we also lost the author our harper lee she wrote the book how to Kill a Mockingbird, and um, there was another book. Just give me one second. Sorry for a long pause. So, how's everyone doing? Doing good. It's very a beautiful day out today. Um, oh, and if you guys, um, if you guys like Sims, um, you guys can check out because I'm doing a Bachelorette series thing on there. And, um, I found the other book. It's um, Ghost Set a Watchman. And um, I never really got a chance to read her book when I was going to school, but I would love to check it out. So now, um, oh, I dedicate this review to these three women, and I thank you for watching. Okay, so at this point, we see Carla, Karen, Renee um, at a baseball game. And um, they are confused about the national anthem and the Star Spangled Banner. And then we see Big Ange. And um, yeah, this is the episode. Because, okay, the episode had came on, right? And I had seen another YouTuber review this. I think her name is um, Ashley Miller. And she was saying um, how, um, how she was having trouble watching it. Because everyone was like, oh, they were talking about how Big Ange had passed away. And then people were taking it back because they said that, um, no, they were saying she was still alive. And then um, now they were talking about yesterday, which was Thursday. And they said, oh, then she did pass away. And I kind of teared up when I saw her, which is like really hard. And then we see Brittany and Bria. And Brittany is talking about, and they, the news people should let the family say it, not her representative. Because they don't know. Like, come on, family, family, not representative, family. But anyways, Brittany is talking about fa Fashion Week. And then Renee and Brittany go outside. And then Carla said that Brittany says that the same words that Dre used to say, like, I'm going to come for you, or I'm coming for you. And that Dre, which is true, and then Marissa is at the hair salon. I didn't really care, so moving on. And then um, Big Ange, they found a nodule on her lung that they might be worried about. She feels like she has been through hell and back. She just had throat cancer, and now she has lung cancer. Oh, and have you guys heard that the, the cast is calling a truce in honor of Big Ange? They should have been done that. Like, no offense, but they should have been done that. Like, you guys are going through all this. I mean, what? Why were you guys fighting with each other? In the first place, was it for ratings? Was it? I think it was. No offense. And then Brittany is talking about New York Fashion Week and talking about her portfolio. And you guys know that Dorita, Dorita is like a makeup artist. That's why she has her um, 
makeup store shop whatever it's called um lady boss and then we see karen carla and marissa i missed a bit of their conversation because i was doing other things and then um but there are flashbacks of judah and karen from like seasons one and two that's crazy i would love to watch seasons one and two over but amazon like they took the prime off anyways um Drita's house now to Drita's house and Big Ange comes over and Big Ange isn't too happy because of what I just said about the cancer coming back and Drita, and Drita hugs her and um, Big Ange comes over to Drita's house because she doesn't want her kids to know about her cancer and um, because they all rely on her and then Drita says she is so strong but she really was. And then Renee and Carla, um, Carla says that her twins, there are twins, right? Well, her kids just turns 13. And then Carla and Joe are talking on the phone because her kids said they don't want her at her party because I guess her husband just got married to his girl, her fiance. And yeah, and then Neil and and So Neil is talking about how he has to go to work and big and just really really mad at him and then she really need him by her side through a sickness and health and they say through marriage and then she says she doesn't want to be married then neil leaves then britney is at her gala karen Drita, and big Ange are there but except karen and Drita are in, on different sides of the room and then there are flashbacks to the season two fight I don't know, but for some reason, I always liked that fight. It was Ramona was fighting with them. Ramona and um, Karen were fighting. And Dorito, she, I'm sorry, that girl was crazy. And they they just wham, wham, wham on each other. So I'm going to leave you guys with um something that um, Big Ange would o always used to say. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, I'll see you all next time. Love you all.